Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another The Arsenio uh, Buck Show, and today, man, is a wonderful day as always. Guys, episode number 89, a Restoring Societal Trust. Now, this could be very difficult for a lot of you. I'm going to give you an example. First, I'm going to recite the paragraph, as I normally do, out loud. Now, this could possibly be a relatively short podcast, or this could be maybe a very long podcast. I really do not know, but let's just dive right into this. Restoring trust on the societal level means rebuilding trust in countries, institutions, industries, professions, and in other people in general. It includes counteracting suspicion and cynicism and replacing it with contribution, value creation, and ethical behavior. This is probably one of the most difficult ones, right? How can I restore trust in countries? Such as, of course, what I've been through out here in Thailand. You know, how can, and, and it's funny, a lot of people would ask me, would you like to buy a condo in Thailand? I'm like, not really, because I don't trust immigration. What if I come in, I have property, and they say no, because you don't have this or that. We're not going to let you in, although you own a condominium. That's what scares me, you see? So how can I restore that? Probably by, you know, d- you know finding out more information about it. But let's go dive, let's deep dive into this. Like, how can we restore trust in institutions? It's a lot, it's kind of like uh, MIT and Harvard, them developing blockchain courses saying, yes, you know, take our course on blockchain. Guys, you should be talking nothing practical. It should be all theoretical. That's what these universities are about. So what, I'm calling you out on your BS right now, Okay. So how can I restore trust in a university? Okay, here, yeah, get your bachelor's in communication. You'll have a wonderful job lined up after. What the what kind of a goddamn job am I going to get if I have a bachelor's in communication or a, bas- a bachelor's in business management, a bachelor's in whatever? Unless you are trying to g- become a nurse or whatever it is, what is a bachelor's degree going to do for you if you're not trying to go into the professional realm? Because now we live in an age, a lot of my students, they say, man, I got a BA, but that's not enough. I said, that's not enough. They said, no. I said, then what is enough? What is enough? This is why I did that e-learning presentation. I'll say it again. This is why I did that e-learning presentation. Because sooner or later, master's degree will be not enoughness. And you know what? A doctorate degree will be not enough. So what will be enough? Skill sets. So... I cannot restore my trust in institutions because institutions are now being exposed by everyone around the world. If you're going to be a doctor, fine, go be a doctor. If you want to be a nurse, fine, go be a nurse. If you want to be a lawyer, fine, go be a lawyer. But sooner or later, a lot of those jobs and certificates that they offer at the BA and MA levels, they're going to be automated. Like if you get a bachelor's in communication, oh, yes, now I can become a communicator. Hell no, that's not what it is. If if you get a a bachelor's in business management, oh, now I can manage a business. Absolutely not. You need to fail. You need practicality. And this is what universities do not offer. Okay, the Netflix film with that lady lawyer, uh, Viola Davis. Yes, that was extremely practical because these people had to find out real life crimes and et cetera, et cetera. That's all dandy. But at the end of the day, come on, man. You know that shit ain't real. You know that you're going to be sitting in a lecture hall for two to three hours listening to some Gen B mouthing his ass off using big words about shit that does not relate to the world today. That's all there is to it. So institutions, you're in trouble. Industries. I cannot restore my trust in industries if I've lost all my trust. Now, an industry, okay, it could be the tech industry, it could be the phone industry, whatever it may be. You know, it's, like, it's kind of like, can I restore my trust in Nike, although my knee, my calf, and my shins messed up? No, I began trust in Under Armour, and since 2011, I've been a proud, you know, a proud supporter of Under Armour. Why? Because they don't have slave shops in China. That's number one. Number two, they actually respond to all my inquiries uh, versus Nike, and number three, they're all about innovation. So, again, professions. I've worked for you know as a dental assistant. Yes, I do have trust in dentists to a certain extent, but again. What we need to do is focus on things that we can control, right? Because I consider those, all of those, you know, rebuilding that trust at the societal level, I consider that the circle of concern. I'm never going to be able to to trust the United States military after what I saw in Vietnam. 
I'm never going to be able to trust the president after what he has said about all people of color except the monsters, the 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 the, the fascists, the, the what what do you call them? Uh, the, the, the 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 supremacists, whatever you call them. the people, the supporters. They're all supremacists. They are nationalists. He's dividing a country. You can't support that. You can't support the Brazilian dictator that's actually taken out the Amazon rainforest that harbors twenty percent and you know gives out twenty percent of the world's oxygen. I can't trust that motherfucker. You see what I mean? So, but that's the concern. Focus on your influence. Focus on replacing it with contribution. What kind of contributions can you give in those worlds? So, again, with institution. Okay, I can't trust institutions, but you know what? I'm going to create my own institution, which I have on my English language podcast. You know, Mind Valley created their own institution. They're having a they have a university on wheels. So basically every year they go for one month and they study at a university around the world and you know they're basically basking in these different cultures from different countries. Amazing. And you know what? Vishen Lakiani, as much as he's a little uh, 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 but you know what? His goal is to combat universities and he is going to succeed. He's one that is going up against a titan. But this titan is becoming, yeah, let's just say an amateur because we know what it's all about now. So my contribution, what is my contribution to the world of personal development? What's my contribution to the world of my, the Arsenio Buck Foundation? What is my contribution in terms of what I am doing? Um, what, what is it? What I'm doing in terms of my English language podcast? See, a lot of people, they get so much value out of their podcast, that they, out of my podcast, that they don't get at any institution, any school, anything worldwide, period. Not only that, but I'm actually destroying all borders. See, I've brought on people from Egypt. I've brought on people from Libya. I've brought on people from France. And you know what's so amazing right now is the fact that I'm able to, oh my God, let's just say, bring people on and show that the world does not have borders anymore. That this world that we actually live in is not, it's a pseudo world. It's not the real reality. That's my contribution. Value creation. What, when you know, I was listening to Jay Shetty just recently and he was talking about, hey, you know what? What I want to do is, of course, you know, there's a lot of different content out there and whatnot. But I want to create something that has a deeper meaning, that sticks home with people, and this and that. That's like value. What value and what are you creating that you could actually bring in a lot of people? See, Jay Shetty has more ears and more viewers than most, you know, uh, most colleges in America. Done. Jay Shetty. People know Jay Shetty more than most colleges in America. Colleges, two years. Universities, to a certain extent, but a lot of people still know. Uh, well, it, it just depends because if Jay Shetty's worldwide and not everyone knows every university in America, boom. So it makes you think the power that influencers have. Now, Jay Shetty, yes, he makes videos and this and that. And me, I'm like, yeah, you know, because I'm not all for the studies and statistics. I don't really care about studies or statistics. I just leave that for the pseudoscientists that don't want their names revealed out there in articles that they actually publish. But me, I create my own statistic. I'm not going to be a statistic. See, if I was going to be a statistic, if I was just going to be a case study, I would have ended up being in America and join all those gunshots just like all the folks out there in Las Vegas, have gotten into. I would have been just like a lot of my friends, a statistic, dropping out of high school, end up getting a kid at a very young age, can't support the kid, wife sucks, girlfriend sucks, see what I mean? I'm not going to be that. I am not, I choose not to be a statistic. And that's what you guys have to choose. You have to make a conscious effort to say, you know what, enough is enough. I am not going to do this anymore. So, an ethical behavior, we already know about that. So guys, this is what we can control. This is called the circle of influence. And this is what I'm trying to inspire and tell you guys over and over. Because <sighs> stop focusing on things that you cannot control. A lot of people say, oh, global warming, this and that. Yeah, you can control it to a certain extent. You know, picking up that piece of plastic, having that accountability, having that compassion for the environment and the animals and the things that are around us. Trying to plant more trees and this and that. You could do it individually. But focusing on the main big picture, it's up to the people who are actually writing the bullshit articles about what's happening in the world to actually make the change. Because they're the ones that actually have power and money, you see? But you could do it based on your influence. So always keep that in mind. Restore trust in yourself. Restore trust in your inner influence. Don't worry too much about the outer circle. 
because those are things that we cannot control. Stay tuned for the next episode, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Arsenio Buck Show. Stay tuned for more, over and out.